bison. Utah free range bison. Once in a lifetime tag. I, I don't really know how to feel or what to think about right now. <laughs> you know, it's like when you're six years old and uh, wake up Christmas morning or sleep Christmas Eve night. That's about how my night went. <laughs> so, so freaking excited. The guides over the last few months have tried to warn me that these bison are not roaming hills bison. They are mountain goats that weigh 3,000 pounds. This time of year, I mean, where we're at right now is 32 degrees, but up on Mount Helen at 11,000 feet, it's probably negative 10, 15 right now. The bison could be high, could be low. They're not afraid of the snow. We just had a huge snowstorm, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what it really brings. It's your job as a spotter to find them. I need a little bit of leniency, okay? It's been daylight for like 15 minutes. Yeah, we spotted some bison, so we're gonna get up on this peak over here and glass up in there. Make sure we can get eyes on some. I think I got fatter. It's gonna go right through the heart of a buffalo. We seen that buffalo right here last night. Just in the saddle, giant in the saddle, in the bare open. That's a little buffalo. Yeah. Those aren't buffalo. What? It's a herd of deer. They're balled up in a big ball. I'm really good at spotting stuff. Following up his tracks. He was bedded and I, I didn't see him, but he stood up. He's probably 12 yards in front of me. Stood up. Giant, but there's huge cedar in front of him. And he was looking my direction, but he couldn't see me. I drew, shaking. Took another step past his bed, and there was a teeny window through the cedar that I could see where a, a killable shot would be. If I, like, a prime shot would be a little bit lower. And I shot. And I'm trying to remember. I heard a thwack. I heard, I heard it hit something hard. Whether it was a tree or whether it was him. So then I bailed following his tracks as fast as I could so I could see if I could get another shot. And he, I mean, he kept going. And on this last ravine, he was on that outside face. I had him at 130. And I was trying to see if I could see arrow, fletching sticking out of him, blood or anything. I couldn't see anything. So I'm really hoping my arrow's not sitting in a cedar tree up there. Follow the 
those tracks for the next 10 days. I don't care. First time I'm live eating, drinking red cream soda. Good luck, Tickle. You brought me good luck today. Do it again tomorrow. Good amount of snow. <laughs> Weatherman's not an accurate human being. No snow. All week. Sunny. Sunny. We got a foot and a half of fresh powder. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the odds are stacked against us. We are, everything's fighting us, telling us no. You serious? You kidding? No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> God, so little faith. Oh my gosh. You know how good that feels? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shiz. And they're not that far. No, they're. I, I mean, mean, it's a hop, skip, and a I jump. I can see tracks off. <sighs> yeah. I'm here to prove a point that you don't need. 72% FOC. <laughs> you just need what? 12 or 14, whatever it is, something around there. 100 grain broadhead. Just a killer. Gotta wash right here. We're gonna get up to the top of this pinnacle. See, see if we can get eyes back on this bison. <laughs>
25 years. Oh my gosh. I'll be right here. I turned, she spooked, I drew. 20, 25 yards. Boom. Sunk it. He can see my fletchings coming out of her. Tie is up on that ridge, glassing down with his spotter. Heck yeah. He threw the arrow back down or I didn't get very good penetration. I saw it bury, so I had to back out. I saw it like. Her left side. It was a full pass through. He was looking at the wrong side. The first shot was a pass through? Yeah. That was just the fletchings were holding it still inside of her. It's bleeding out both sides. You can see her bed. It's on the left, it's on the right, and then you can see where her nose was and she snorted blood. Let's go back and get the packs, regroup, and head on out, go get some dinner, have a sleepless night and come back in the morning. <laughs> oh, she's gonna die. We went about 200 yards, there's blood the whole way. 25 yards, straight through, sunk. Arrow disappeared 100%. Like, it just went right through. Gotcha. <laughs> Got to the snow drift area. We're gonna drop these other trucks, take my truck in the tracks and blow through them. Get into the spot where we parked yesterday. And hike in. So, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna find her and get some, start, start a campfire out there and cook up some heart and everybody's gonna eat it. I'm feeling it. We're gonna sneak through, make sure once we spot her, if we need to get another arrow, then we'll get another one just in case.
yeah, Isaac's with me. He had a little water, so I think we're just gonna jump back on our tracks and just keep going. I got more. I'm coming down to you. Like I said, and we're we're here. <laughs> this sucks. I didn't have water for that whole freaking sprint. She was bedded under that tree when we walked up and over. Those were her tracks. She was bedded. How is she not? She's gotta be sick. Well, I didn't suck at shooting. Should have been lower and more forward. She'd be dead if she was an elk. Her her arrow that was stuck in her fell out right there. I shot her again. That's that last one I shot. No, I shot her with the arrow. I shot her at the, the, original the, arrow. the OG arrow. <laughs> Story now. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do. Story. Story's done. Should have brought that portable one. Can't make this up. No. Tristan, come up here. I'm coming down the ravine. This arrow, you can tell those fletchings have been sitting in a rib for 24 hours. It was literally standing up on a rock like that, but just back there. I walk up like that's my freaking arrow. Put it up, put it in my quiver, climb up here, shot her again with the same arrow. Bad shot. Bad shot. Followed up though, we got her. We did it. Uh, we... Determination. <laughs> Eight miles. <laughs> Eight miles from where she was bedded. <sighs> Roller <laughs> into the storm, never giving up. <sighs> I can't even tell you how many. I four miles back, I just sat down on that little sandy ledge before Isaac caught up to me, before Ty caught up to me. <laughs> I rode in the sand, said a prayer, and it worked. <laughs> Frick. Thanks, buddy. Jeez.
she is a trooper. The tough, tough animal. Last day, huh? Last day. <laughs> What's up for the last day, Magic? This is buffalo on a gas. Worked out perfect. 